Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Claire. I have got Fab It Fun, and this is the spring box. I've already had a look in it, I couldn't help myself, even though I know roughly what's in there, but oh, I just love this. I love the subscription, I really do. So, as always, if you're new to Fab Fit Fun and you're interested in learning a little bit more about it, then carry on watching. But if you've heard it all before and you're just curious and seeing what I chose, then you will find a timestamp down below in the comments so you're free to flick forward. FabFitFun is a seasonally subscription box that is based in the US and they ship to the UK. Four boxes come out a year and they cost $49.99 to ship to the UK. There's an additional $10 shipping plus there's around seven to eight pound tax on top. So with every new season you'll receive an email giving you a full list of dates of when the boxes go live for customization etc. But as well as that you can take part in a add-on sale. If you're a select member you get to access the sale a little bit earlier than if you are a season by season subscriber but an add-on sale is basically a huge list of beauty products that are really heavily discounted that you're able to add to your account and then they all get shipped out with your box so when the customizations open you've got say category one so you've got a good few products that you choose from if there was say for instance there's two products that you really like and you really can't choose between the two then you add one to your box and then for an additional $15, you can add it to your basket. So you pay an additional $15 and you can have that extra item. So then you go on to category two, exactly the same, category three, category four. And then if you're a select, you've got category five. And then FabFitFun choose the remaining products. All the products are full size and all the products come to around $200 or more, which is way above the cost of the box. But yeah, I think that's it as far as information goes. I have a referral a friend coach you're welcome to use if you fancy taking a box out for yourself it entitles you to have a is it a 10 or 15 dollar i think it's 15 dollar discount or is it 10 i can't remember now but i'll pop that down in my description anyway as well as links to the subscription so underneath this video see show more or a downward arrow if you to click that that would bring up my description and everything would be listed down there so let's get on to open this up and showing you what i chose so inside the box we've got some stickers <laughs> And we got money off leaflets and then in every box you will have a magazine and it details everything about the products inside your box plus all the different categories as well so yeah so they're all categorized so you're able to see not that it makes much of a difference actually when you receive your box because you can't change anything then it's too late but i suppose i don't know if you just fancy taking a look at what else was in the categories if say for instance they sold out of their boxes which they sometimes do and you decided to subscribe they will send you what's known as an editor's box and that would be a mix of products that have been in different subscription boxes over the last year and then your next box then would be the september box like everyone else so the first item i chose is a watch I never wear watches never wear watches the closest thing to a watch i wear sometimes not all the time is a fitbit <laughs> a step tracker so this is by the brand monroe i just thought this was quite nice a nice gray and rose gold watch there yeah i thought that was quite nice i am a little bit baffled why i chose it because <laughs> i don't really wear watches but i do like it i do like it so maybe it'll be like a fashion accessory I don't know, a hundred and five dollars. Hundred and five dollars. And it says it's a classic watch in sunburst sol rose. Strap on this timeless watch for a sophisticated look. A hundred and five dollars. There's no way I would spend that on a watch. I would on a Fitbit, <laughs> but not a watch. But no, I do like it. I do like it. So the next item that I'm going to show you is the one that I paid $15 for as an extra. And it's a little bag. Well, it's not little, it's quite big. Now the design isn't really to my taste. I prefer more bohemian type bags with tassels and flowers and whatever on them. But I thought this would make an amazing carry-on bag if i was going away for the weekend like amsterdam is like an hour flight away from wales so handy handy bag a weekend bag i can put a lot in there it feels really nice and sturdy plus it's got a strap there as well i do really like it i really like it it's got some pockets in there this is by alice and olivia really nice big size with a zip compartment in there as well 
I'm chuffed with that. How much do you reckon this bag is? Go on, think of a price in your head and let me know if you were right. So the cost of this bag to buy $150. Sponkers. <laughs> It is bonkers, isn't it? But then saying that, I live in the UK, so I've never heard of Alice and Olivia before. They could be like a massive designer brand over in the US, which, you know, obviously I'm a bit naive there, so I don't know. But if you are watching this and you are from the US, please let me know your thoughts on like the pricing of Fab Fit Fun. But anyway, it's a daisy print duffel bag. It says tote your essentials in this adorable duffel bag. So, there, so that was my $15, well worth $15, definitely, well worth $15, not $150 though, I wouldn't pay that, no. Got a little bag, now to go with my duffel bag, <laughs> I got a hat. <laughs> Well, in all honesty, out of everything in that category, I can't remember what the category was now, I wasn't sure what to go for. Like brush, brushes, I've gone a bit mad with brushes over the last year, so I've got quite a lot. I did opt for the MAC lipsticks, but they were out of stock. Um, what else was there? The ring as well, don't really like that. I'm more of a silver ring lover. There wasn't much there that I really liked, so I just thought I'd go for that. Yeah, I don't know, say if I need to leave the house to take my dog for a walk and it's pouring down rain, if I need to do something in the garden. <laughs> it's cute. It's reversible as well. So if I didn't like the daisy pattern, I can have it in white. I would say, obviously again, it's by Alice and Olivia. If I didn't know the cost of the duffel bag, then I would say probably about... £20, which is probably what around say $27, $28, something like that. Oh no, this is $85. <laughs> it says Alice and Olivia reversible bucket hat. This cute bucket hat features a daisy print on one side and solid white on the other side for endless styling options. So, yeah, so it's going to be a house handy type of hat. Next, I went for something really exciting slippers. There's two sizes. There was small to medium and medium to large. Two different sizes, so I went from medium to large. I'm a UK size 8, which is, I think is a US 10 or 11, maybe US 11. But yeah, I had some gorgeous slippers from a winter Fab Fit Fun last year not well 2019 and i absolutely loved them they were so lovely they were cable knit gray cable knit ones and they were really really nice but they're gone they, they went last year sometime then a couple of months ago it might have been in the winter box actually i had the most gorgeous pull on they sort of slip i wear them like slippers but they look like again gray chunky cable knit um socks thick socks but they've got a fur lining and they've just got little pads at the bottom so they're like slipper socks then so when i saw these i thought yeah they're proper slippers proper slippers slide your feet on and then you've got soles underneath there oh my gosh it's like touching my golden retriever with my feet <laughs> she's so fluffy and soft oh my gosh it is so nice they are gorgeous really lovely they fit my feet really nice I am so chuffed of those. Really, really chuffed. So to buy these pink fluffy slippers will cost $48. They're by a brand called Splendid. Faux fur slipper in crystal pink. Step into these cozy faux fur slippers for ultimate comfort. They are gorgeous. I really like them. So yeah, happy with them. Then the last two categories I found a bit difficult what to choose. I ended up going for some hair ties. So I love the little bag it comes in. Lark and Ives. You've got a card then telling you how you can use it. So you can put it on your hair there, 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 whatever. Neck tie or um, tie it on your bag as well. I got a cream silky one and I've got a sort of peachy pink silky one and I think it's got like little flower design on it yeah they're just big squares to buy these scarves would cost me $30 these super soft scarves can be wrapped around your ponytail or bun or you can tie them onto your handbag as an accessory so there's that and then in the last category I chose I got a bag and it's a little straw bag it looks teeny tiny it does look teeny tiny but actually when you open it up you could fit a load of things in there 
so it's deceiving the looks are deceiving again it wasn't something i needed i have got quite a few different like little tote bags that i use when i go shopping but i thought it was quite cute it is cute this is by camp collection and this is a dip dye market tote use this adorable reusable tote to haul your groceries and the recommended retail price is 25 dollars so those are all my choices so all the other products are what fabric fun chose for me so they've chosen a earth harbor marina it's a bio brightening ampule and it's 30 mils here oh, i haven't heard of this before oh i love the color <laughs> i'll have a read now to see what it says about it the recommended retail price for this ampule is $38. This oil features spirulina and blue tansy to vigorously brighten and balance the skin. Apply two or more drops to your skin after cleansing and toning. Okay. Ooh, it's, it's an oil. No scent as such. Yeah, it's nice. It is really nice. I'm going to have to look into that a little bit more. Then they gave me some lip masks. They're all the same. I got four lip masks sun's out pouts out and this is by the brand sf and this is a gold foil lip mask single use that's what they look like <laughs> when you put them on your lips sf glow sun's out pouts out lip mask kiss dry lips goodbye botanical extracts deeply hydrate and condition the lips for a smoother pout in minutes the recommended retail price for these is 16 dollars and then lastly i have got some face cloths and uh, i love these things i love face cloths i've got a ton of them we've got a big box of them downstairs that we all use we use them pop them in the washing machine and reuse them so there's three here this is by say say hello.com and yeah we've got three super fluffy ones <laughs> I love the feeling of them. They are really nice and thick and yeah, I really like them. So good pick there, Fabric Fern. How much were these to buy? It says, ditch your makeup wipes for these reusable cotton rounds. The recommended retail price is $15. Now that is the most accurate pricing of all the products, isn't it, so far? <laughs> so those are all the items inside the spring Fabric Fun box. There's no denying I've got a bargain box. The cost of the box converts to around, say, £55, something like that. The products that I've got, even though some of them like, are hit and miss, but I do think, yeah, you know, it's, it's definitely worth it. I absolutely love the subscription. I think my favourite thing of all are these gorgeous soft slippers. They are so, so nice. It's one thing as well I forgot to tell you. All this information spilling out with me. If you are a new subscriber and you want to take out a season by season subscription, which you can cancel any time, when you first subscribe, you will be treated as a select subscriber. So you'll get to choose your items straight away and a few extras as well. And then Fabric Fun chooses the rest. And then when you go for your second box, if you want to, unless you cancelled, then you'll have your customizations based on your subscription. So yeah, as always, I'd love to know your thoughts. What do you think of this box? What do you think of this subscription? Are you subscribed or are you watching this wondering if this is for you or not all your thoughts and opinions i'd love to know so please comment down below so yeah so thanks for watching and i'll speak to you soon take care bye